application you should hear back from a school whether or not you have an interview this is a really important part of the whole getting into PT school is showing these schools your personality and why you want to be a PT because ultimately at the end of the day you could have all the credentials on paper but they're looking for certain qualities in a person to be a PT and that is what interview day is for that and getting a feel of the school that's true it goes both ways <laughs> Of the schools that you guys like applied to, did most of them have interview days? I applied to four schools and all four of my schools had interview days. I applied to five and four out of those five offered interviews. Uh, I applied to seven and four out of the seven had interviews. I applied to four and only two had interviews. <laughs> I applied to two and only one of them had the interview. Honestly, like looking back on it, I wouldn't have even applied to that fifth school that didn't offer an interview because yeah. Even if I got in, I wouldn't have gone. Why? Because I learned so much about the other four schools, and I had no clue about the the fifth school. Could have visited. That would be yeah. the next best <laughs> option. Because interview day is not just an interview. Right. You also have like a department tour, a campus tour. Mm -hmm. You get to learn about the research of that school if they um, you have that as a to current students. Mm -hmm. You get to know the faculty, and so yeah, like you said, it is a two way street. Talk about your experience. I know you said you had something like specifically to yeah. talk about. Schools have different formats for interviews. For example, UNLV's is just a single interview with the faculty member and then a clinician. A school I interviewed at was a group interview where I was with um, two other prospective students. Another school I went to, you had an interview with the faculty member um, and then clinicians, and then you also had an interview with the current students. So there are different ways that you could do the interview. And I remember one of the schools I went to, it was two 15 minute interviews with four faculty members. So the first interview was with two faculty members and the lights were dim and it was super calm and it was very <laughs> conversational and you felt, you felt relaxed, you know? And then um, after that one was done, I had the next 15 minute interview, which is immediately after and then it was the complete opposite. Like the lights were on, the faculty members were pretty harsh. I remember I asked them to repeat a question and they just like rolled their eyes at me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, okay. <laughs> and I remember walking out of there really frazzled and then looking back on it, I think that was designed that way. It was kind of like a good cop, bad cop because they asked me similar questions. So that was my first one and then I was really scared to do all the other ones. <laughs> So like what Lana was saying with those, those the, there was like that calm uh, environment and there was like that intimidating environment, like be prepared to deal with those personalities. Yeah, yeah. because during- I was not. <laughs> I know, it's hard. It's hard to like be prepared for that. During one of my interviews, it was a group interview with three interviewees and then two interviewers and they were both faculty members. And yes, one of them was like, she was very like accommodating and very sweet. And then the other one was that harsh one. Um, so you just gotta like, I don't want to say play both sides though. It's like be yourself, to, yeah. right? Uh, and I think that's what they're trying to get at is, uh, yeah. can they handle a kind of tight, a tight environment? Mm -hmm. Can they handle a relaxed environment? Are they the same person mm -hmm. in those two different environments? Um, are they giving honest answers? So I think it's a, it's an interesting yeah. strategy. I just didn't handle it well because I wasn't prepared for it. Think about it too, that adaptability is really important. Yeah. As a physical therapist, you're not going to be dealing with the same kind of patients every single day. You're going to have that disagreeable patient or that patient that just doesn't work well with your personality. And I think that's a good learning experience for that too. I attended three different ones and with UNLV's it was, we had one interview and it was with um, a faculty member and with an alumni of the program. Other applicants that I was talking to, it was pretty conversational, but I felt like it was like an interview interview. I was kind of intimidated. <laughs> Mine was an interview. <laughs> yeah, I did uh, have an interview with one school where it was two one-on-one -on -one interviews and the first one it was like, you know, I was asked a question, I would answer it, we'd continue a conversation, but the second one, 
she didn't ask me any questions, so I was like kind of, I was like, oh my gosh, what to do? <laughs> so I was like trying to think of questions on the fly to ask her. Yes. Oh, so, there, yes, that's what you're saying. That yeah. Is. And then the last one, it was like three faculty members, and one of them was on Skype, so I just didn't know who to look at. <laughs> my, so my two interviews were pretty similar. It was a, a faculty and a clinician, and I felt that both of them were more of a conversation. It, it flowed naturally. A lot of the interview was based on my personal statement, so yeah, just, just talking about me. I only applied to one school that had the interview, but I did apply uh, twice because it took me two years to get into PT school. Both of those times for me felt like an interview. It'll depend on the interviewer. They have your application like printed out. They also have a checklist of all the specific um, things that they talk about and they score you and depending on your score is whether or not you get into the program like it's good to be prepared and write your application and do everything like beforehand so you don't have to stress about it but once the interview day actually does roll around read over your application so that you remember what you wrote if you're gonna put something on your application you better be prepared to talk about it if you're gonna say that you have served like a cardio pulmonary patient have that specific patient in mind mm -hmm. And like be able to talk about it. They might ask about that they one specific ask, experience. They will ask about it. Absolutely. Right? One hundred percent. How did you guys practice for the interview? You know, like what you guys do? I didn't. I didn't I practice. <laughs> so there are two ways to go about it. So do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't recommend doing it. I hated that it was not as prepared as I could have been. I think it's important to look at the faculty at the school and kind of see what research the school is focused on and what the school is about, the school's vision, and why you want to go to that school. I think that's one of the questions, yeah, like the was. almost guaranteed mm -hmm. question that you will get. Why do you want to go here? Why do you want to be a PT? So those are two things to have in the back of your mind and be prepared to answer. Absolutely. One of the most helpful things I did was I literally asked the physical therapist I work with to do a mock interview with me and that was so intimidating but i learned so much from that and then he gave me topics to look into that might be brought up in future interviews and stuff and he even broke down things from the things i talked about to like even my body language, language too i think with um, our the pre-physical therapy honor society we had mock interviews with current students so they just had their interviews a year ago so that really helped you didn't go to them <laughs> Someone on there said to like pretty much like read up on the APTA website oh, because yeah. there could be questions about absolutely like, Asian 2020. This was something that I had issues with before just because I was so unprepared for my first interview. I didn't even know what APTA stood for. Like the acronym APTA, I didn't know what uh, it stood for. So be prepared in a general sense of like current events in physical therapy. If you go on APTA's website, they do have some free articles from like their PT emotions, stuff like that, talking about current events. So I recommend looking up those. And I think also going into the interview, um, not only to be prepared for their questions, but to have your own questions. Absolutely. Um, they're going to ask you at the end. Most, I think oh, most for sure. Yeah. Interview. Any yeah. interview really. They'll ask you at the end. So make sure to have good questions because it's your time to also learn more about the school mm -hmm. um, and to determine whether or not they're a good fit for you. Yeah, questions for the faculty that'll be interviewing you, questions for current students, mm -hmm. questions about specific programs they offer. You want to appear as engaged as you actually are, because if you don't ask questions, you seem like you're not um, as invested, and right. you want to seem like you have a stake in it, because you do, and you want to, you just want to show that too. So what are some questions that you guys um, would ask the faculty during your this question stumped them, so I was like, <laughs> this is a good question. Like, at the end of the day, what is like the biggest message you want your students to take away from your class, or not even your class, but just you as a professor or you guys as a program? And so they really had to wrap that up. And then I got an idea of what they stood for. It's like people as professors and as a program. Research, if you are interested, mm -hmm. depending on the school, they could be very research heavy and they might like and appreciate that you have those kind of questions. Why did your school decide to do four shorter clinicals as opposed to three longer clinicals? I asked a lot about what the clinical 
how their clinicals are set up at mm-hmm. that school. Like, what settings do they want you to be in? How long are the clinicals? Do you have to do like an underserved population? Do you have to do it in a rural population? Just kind of like the parameters for their clinicals, because what you're going to learn the most from in PT school is when you're actually performing stuff on patients. So I think the clinical experience is really important, and you want to go to a school that matches what you want to get out of the clinical. Mm-hmm really listen because throughout the day they're probably going to talk about their program and what makes them unique and stuff like that so yeah just like really listen and then boom if you have a question just blurt it out there it'll make you stand out i think i asked a question about like working with other health professionals because other schools will have like an ot program with them a nursing program so i asked like how often do we get to talk to those students and do kind of like a disciplinary work i was trying to make it seem like i was up to date going on during that time uh, the opioid topic was very big yeah, like the mm-hmm. epidemic so I asked them a question about like how do they handle patients who would often like refer to opioids be aware of what physical therapists in general have an opinion on I come from a neuroscience background I took pain and neuroscience classes and the professors that I went to school with had a very um, different opinion on the severity of the opioid crisis and how best to deal with those circumstances. And because I went to a school with that kind of mindset, to be in a position in physical therapy and they have a completely opposing view, that did kind of ruin the interview for me for my first interview and for you if you believe that strongly on a certain position that you find is opposed by faculty members that might be like a cutoff point for you to say maybe this school won't actually work for me you have to learn at a way that is most beneficial for you it's one thing to have uh, differing opinions that are like constructive but if it's really a deal breaker for you you might find that out in your how nervous were you guys for the interviews? No interview. Any tips for like the <laughs> nerves, or did you kind of just like plow through? You know, I feel like they're gonna be there regardless. Yeah. This is an important part in your life, mm-hmm. and it's a big step towards your professional career. You're going to be nervous. Absolutely. All of the schools that I went to, um, they don't immediately like boom. Here's your interview. You know, you kind of get to sit down, you get to meet some of the faculty, you get to talk to the current students, and they kind of take your mind off of it a little bit, just yeah. ask them, you know, where are you from, what do you like to do, just it kind of almost prepping you for an interview almost, like they're asking you questions, but it's not in a formal sense. I had four interviews in the month of January, and like literally <laughs> that whole month was just a month of nerves. <laughs> like that, the very first interview, I, I think I maybe slept for like 30 minutes because I was just trying to sleep, yeah. and I couldn't, I was so nervous. What helps though is like just being prepared. If you do your research and you look on the faculty, you'll start feeling more confident that you know what you're you're going to be talking about. And like, I don't know, do what makes you feel confident. Like, look good or yeah, whatever. Look yeah. nice. Look the weather up. Make sure you eat. I know that you don't want to eat, but if you faint during an interview, that's going to be pretty <laughs> bad. Well, at least drink water. Don't drink, drink too much eat. coffee. Don't drink coffee. Yeah. Control the variables that you can control, if it's possible, and. It might not be with schedules and financially and stuff, but if possible, get an idea of like the atmosphere around the school, like make a trip out of it. That could potentially be the city you'll be living in for three years. Mm -hmm. And like, I loved even taking a lift from where I was to to the school and like asking my lift driver about how it is (laughs) living there. I think being early is just very important. I parked on ice uh, at my hotel and so I was stuck in my parking oh, no. spot for five minutes trying to reverse. And I was scared it was going to be late. But it's a good thing I left very early and made it on time. Can we do a I was about to cry. Oh, here's the ice, I swear. I think one more thing is just to talk to the other students. Mm. Yeah, the current yeah. students will tell you. And then also the other applicants. Yeah, the yeah. applicants. Because I think the faculty, since they're around, the faculty and current students, they are looking at you too, observing how you interact with other people. <laughs> be social. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, physical therapy is a job where you have to be social and communicate interdisciplinary and otherwise. Oh, also, like, introduce yourself.
yourself to the faculty members during interview, like mm -hmm. not just who interviewed you, but everyone who uh, made a point to speak. Um, make sure you go up and just say hi and introduce yourself. That way they have your face in mm -hmm. their mind. They're, they're excited to meet you and you're excited to be there. So yeah. even though it is a nervous and stressful situation, it's fun at the same time. Everyone's in the same boat as yeah. you. Everybody is oh, yeah. equally <laughs> oh, yeah. as nervous as you are whether or not they're showing it. I think that's about it. This one's a bit quicker of a video. You guys are going to do great. Yep. Woo! You're going to nail it.